Well, well, well. Mm -hmm. There is a change of plans for this week. Um, as y'all know that I was going to work on Cowboy Sunset. I got a page finish. It was, it was really good. Really good page finish. Um, so I'm back over here on the left side. I already moved my cue snap because I didn't think that I was going to have to make a video yet. So anyway, uh, I got a request slash commission last night. I think it was last night. Something like that. And um, one of my wonderful crochet friends um, loves sloths. And I saw a pattern and I said, hey, look at this pattern. You can probably make this one. She goes, how about I pay you to make it? And I was like, really? <laughs> and of course I said, yeah. I said, just pay for the pattern, the yarn. Let's do it. And she's like, all right. Um, it's an honor. You know, she don't request me to make stuff for her hardly ever. So when it, when, uh, when this came around, I was like, you know what? I would love to make this for her. So, tell me that's not the cutest thing. I know I swore I wouldn't do any more crochet corner to corner graph blankets, but this one's only a hundred something rows. It's not over 300 like the other one was. Um, and it's cute. It's super cute. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. Um, she sent me the money and I went and got the pattern and, uh, paid, she got the yarn that it calls for, which is really cool because I've never used this yarn, but it's Lion Brand's basic stitch anti-peeling. And I think the peeling means, you know, when you wash stuff, it gets those little things on it. I think that's what this means. You people with the brain around here that keep me in line, let me know different in the comments. But I got, I got it all balled up into my two colors that I need right now. Um, I got those two colors balled up. I could have caked it, but I find cakes get messy with all the running around you got to do because there's always back and forth back and forth and then the cakes get messy the other way i like to do it and i don't have any in my house right now is wrap it around cardboard um chunks of cardboard which work out really great i love that idea but um hot stuff decided we needed to get rid of boxes and stuff which is fine you know I don't need clutter in this house, but uh, anyway, so it's gone. So I'm just gonna use balls, which is fine. So that's what she said. Uh, but I'm gonna keep the labels uh, of this one, um, or one of the labels or something. I don't know. This is pretty pricey yarn for it being 185 yards. Uh, let me see. I just saw the Joann's. We went ahead and chose Joann's to get it from there because it's, uh, well, they're having sales. And so I got it at a somewhat decent price. But at Joann's, this yarn is like super expensive for not a lot of yarn. It will in my world, in my opinion. It's 105, 185 yards or 3.5 ounces, or 100 grams, or 170 milli millimeters, I think it is. Any hoozles. So, here in, in Texas, we go by the yardage. 185 yards, and one ball is 649. Thankfully, it's on sale for 487, but almost six dollars, well, six dollars and 50 cents for that small of a scheme, this yarn better come out looking really, really good. Cause I kind of feel bad that uh, she paid for this yarn. 
I mean, it's a joy to work with. I'm, I'm, you know, no problem in it. It's beautiful. I love it. But good gosh. What happened to yarn when it wasn't expensive? And I know everybody's like, well, the cheap yarn's Red Heart. Yes, it's Red Heart. Cheap yarn. And it shows it's cheap. Because every time I use Red Heart, it cuts my finger right here wide open. I'm telling you, there's something in that yarn. It's horrible. But they have a ton of colors. Anyway, but we went ahead and did it this brand and the called for colors because I was not sure I could do conversion. Usually I go to Hershner's. Um, Walmart has a really good yarn. But the, the colors are very limited with Walmart yarn. What Mainstays yarn. Hershner's does have a very good selection. But I wanted it to look like the picture. Because that's what she fell in love with. So we went ahead and did it. So I had to get like a bunch of skeins. One of the skeins I had to get six of. So it turned out. It turned out super crazy. But I used coupons and I used everything I could to help her out. And we got it dealt with. It is what it is. So, yeah. Um, but I'm, I'm excited to get this done for her. And I know she's not in a hurry. But anytime I get a request and or commission piece, whatever the case is, I want to get it done first. You know what I'm saying? They asked for this item. What I'm doing in Cross Stitch World is my stuff that I'm just doing to do. There's nobody's work. There's nobody claiming any of it. So of course I'm going to do this blanket first, um, and I'm down for it. And the pattern is free on her blog. What is her name again? Um, hold on. Something E. Claire. It's like really kitschy with bakery. E. Space Claire Makery. M. A. K. E. R. Y. Not bakery. Makery. And it's on Ravelry. And it's called the Crochet Recipe for the Sloth Blanket. Difficulty Level Intermediate. So, um, she has it free on her blog. But it is not written out on her blog. She, you have to pay for the pattern to have it written. And I will pay for the pattern to be written. Because I'm not about to count all those blocks. I want somebody to just tell me what it is. Like, okay. It, it tells you. I, I can't show you the pattern. But it'll say, you know, hey. Start in this corner. Make one green block. Next level, make three green blocks. Or two green blocks. Third level, three green blocks. It, it just says the words. I don't have to count. I don't have to do anything but read the instructions down the list. So, that's what I'm going to do. Um, and it wasn't an expensive pattern. It was like three something. I rarely buy patterns. I know. Don't hate me. But you never know. Do they do it on themselves? Do they make their own pattern themselves? Do they have testers? Do they use AI? I mean, there's so many variables that unless I know the designer, I rarely buy the patterns because I don't want to be stuck with a crappy pattern. She seems to know what she's doing. So, of course, I um, paid for it. And it, like I said, it's only 108 rows. Um, they're They're kind of packed at po some points but honestly I, I mean it's not a big deal and she's using a very big hook so we're not going to run into the batman blanket problem <laughs> i'm actually using a smaller hook than she calls for she is causing for a 6.5 i'm just using a six um, i just want it to be a little tighter not much and it's really not that tight you can see clearly it's not that tight so anyway that is what's gonna happen this week and we'll see what next week brings I'm just gonna put um, cross stitch on the back burner just for now till I get this done and then instead of going to the back of the line cowboy sunset going to the back of the line 
I'll just pick it up for next week or whenever I get done and start where I left off with it and then continue the rotation. Um, so Friday though, will not have anything happen. I cannot make any big decisions. Can't do a whole lot Friday. I'm going back under. Um, the surgery starts at like, I got to check it out like 7.55 and surgery starts at 10. But my stomach is really bad again. Really, really bad. I mean, it's noticeable bad. Um, so they're going to stick a tube down my throat and do some exploring in there. And they're going to do a couple of biopsies. And I mean, it's nothing major. And it never, it usually isn't. I mean, they never find out what's wrong, even though there's clearly something wrong. And even my cardiologist looked at it and was like, because I was explaining to her about the pushing on my lungs, causing my heart, you know, and everything. She goes, yeah, you can tell that it's it's pretty out there. And I said, I know, and I don't know what it is. So I need prayers that we actually figure out what this is because this is really uncomfortable. It hurts. It's causing chest pains and rib pain. And I just pray that they will actually find some answers. But I'm not too hopeful. I'm, I'm just not. I've been through a lot of this. And I t like I told my, my doctor that I've been with for years and years, I said, I kind of feel like I'm being a hypochondriac at this point. She goes, honey, you are far from that. And I said, that's why I'm just like, whatever. You know, I, I'm tired of it. They can't ever find anything. There's something going on. There's something wrong. This is not normal looking. And uh, so Friday, we're going to have that done. And then uh, next week, next week, or is it the week after? I think next week, my heart monitor goes back on for two weeks. Um, they need to run some more testing on that deal. So two more weeks for that guy. And then I have another... What was I getting dealt with? There's there's something going on every week in the medical business. So, I don't know. But just Friday, you know, it is what it is. And Hot Stuff will be with me. This will be the first time I've had somebody with me in a while that actually wants to stay and wants to be with me and uh, take care of me. And I'm like, okay. But I'm not sure how to deal with it just yet. But I'm going to let him try. <laughs> so, y'all take care. Have a great week. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.